Hello guys, I'm Hasan. So today we will be solving a uh, NRC circuit. Uh, here we have a circuit. Uh, we have a capacitor here. The capacitor is initially uncharged, so it has zero charge here. And the switch is closed at time t equal to zero. Uh, the question asks us to find I1, I2, and I C uh, immediately after the switch is closed, uh, and in part B, the final charge charge on the capacitor, and part C, uh, the functions of T uh, for I1, I2, and I C. So if you want to try, uh, you can pause the video. Uh, so let's start. For the first question, I mean part one, part A, uh, it says immediately after the switch is closed. So, uh, since this is initially uncharged, uh, at the beginning, this capacitor will act like a short circuit. So, I'm drawing the circuit for that. Uh, this is our voltage supply, resistance. And resistance, and this is our short circuit. Again, this is epsilon, R, and R. Uh, as we know, uh, this resistor is short circuit uh, in a short circuit, so uh, no current flow here. Uh, therefore. Our equivalent resistance here is R. We can write the I here, which is I1, as I1 equal to voltage divided by resistance epsilon over R. Or let's write it like I10. This I10 goes here, and since this is short circuited, no current flow here. Uh, I20 zero is zero, so let's write it here. I2 at time t equal to zero is zero. And all this current I1 goes through here. I C, which is so I C is equal to I one. Therefore, it is also epsilon over R at the time t equal to zero. Uh, for the first first part, our answers are this. Uh, in part B, and this is the answer for part A. In part B. Uh, we are asked to find the final charge of the capacitor. Uh, as this capacitor charges, uh, it becomes an open circuit uh, at time uh, t equals infinity. Uh, so this is our final circuit. Again, the values are R and Epsilon. Uh, from this, we can see uh, here I C infinity is equal to zero because it's an open circuit. Uh, and here we will write the uh, formula. Voltage over resistance, which is 2R here, is equal to this current, which is I1. Uh, this is I1, and all I1 goes from here, so I2, I2 is also equal to that value. At infinity. Uh, 
this is our value and as we said before i see at infinity is equal to zero so for part a and part b our answers are the, these uh, let's jump into part c i'll use a new board okay so for the part c uh, we have the same circuit here and uh, we are asked to find i1, i2 and ic with res respect to time uh, therefore we will write the Volt, uh, Kirchhoff's voltage uh, loop equations. So we have one loop here and one loop here. Uh, for this, we have epsilon minus r times i1 minus r times i2 equal to zero. For this loop, we have here I2 R minus Vc, let's call this Vc, the voltage across this capacitor, Vc, Vc. Uh, I to R minus VC is equal to zero. And here we will do Kirchhoff, uh, Kirchhoff's current law. So I1 comes here, it divides into these two. I1 is equal to I2 plus IC. From these equations, uh, we will try to find a new equation with on, which only contains VC and IC uh, kind of things. Uh, so let's first write VC in terms of the other things. So we have an equation here, Q, QC is equal to Vc times C. So Vc is equal to Qc over C. Let's sub substitute this value in here. We will obtain I2 R minus QC over C is equal to zero. And from these two, we will try to uh, take IC. So here I1 is equal to D, this thing. Uh, let's put this I1 here, so these two combined gives us epsilon minus R times this one, I2 plus IC minus R times I2. is equal to zero. Let's write this equation uh, in the open form. I'll write it here. Epsilon minus R times I2 minus R times IC minus r times i2 is equal to zero. 
This gives us epsilon minus 2r i2. These two is known. And minus r i c is equal to 0. So uh, we, we will try to take this i2 and substitute here. So we have i2 is equal to epsilon minus r i c over 2r. If we put this value here, let's write it like this i2r, so epsilon minus r i l i c, I mean, divided by 2 minus qc over c is equal to 0. Now, uh, we will use the uh, equation uh, I write here dq over dt is equal to, I mean c, uh, the current through this capacitor. So, uh, we can replace it with this. Let's put this here. Uh, let's first multiply two sides by 2c. So, epsilon c minus cric minus 2qc is equal to 0. Uh, from this, we will put this value here. It's ic. Uh, epsilon c minus cr ic. So dq or dt. minus 2qc is equal to 0. We have a differential equation here. We have to solve this. Uh, how can we solve this? Uh, it's a separable equation. So I will write this in a better form here. And we will put this here and this here. This will give us dqc over epsilon c minus 2qc is equal to 1 over rc times dt. So for uh, in order to solve this differential equation, we will integrate both sides. Uh, this integration will give us ln epsilon c minus 2 qc divided by minus 2. And this part, we will have 1 over rc times t plus a constant, let's call it k. So, let's get this minus 2 here. I'll write it directly. 
minus 2 here. This, this is again a constant, it doesn't change. Uh, and we will take uh, the exponential of these, like this. These e and ln cancels. ec minus 2 qc is equal to e to the minus 2 over rc times t and a constant here. From this, we will have qc as epsilon c minus k e to the power minus 2 over rc times t uh, over 2. This is our value for qc. And uh, in order to find the current IC, we have to take the derivative. Uh, the derivative of this gives us, I'm writing it here, IC T is equal to minus K over 2. Uh, times minus 2 over rc, so this is cancelled, this is cancelled, uh, times e to the power minus 2 over rc t. And with the initial value of I see here epsilon over R. If we substitute here uh, zero, this will become one. So we want this to be equal to epsilon over R. K over R C is equal to epsilon over R. Therefore, epsilon is equal to K over C.